everyone welcome back to another video so today I'm just going to set this straight yes I am still a gaming channel I have not veered away from that well I'm not a full gaming channel as you're obviously watching this video which is not a gaming video but I I want to turn down some new pages and try to find something else that in case YouTube ever completely breaks down in the future if I hone my art skills, I might be able to find a job working for some video game company and make art or something? I don't know. But today, I want to talk about a story. But before that, I want to talk about a few changes that are coming to my channel or already have already come. First of all, I am going to start doing other types of things, like maybe music in the future. Right now I'm doing animation. Well, not animation, but... <laughs> ah, I messed that up. Right now I'm doing, um, like, painting and storytelling and stuff. Maybe in the future I will do animation. But don't expect it to be good. Expect it to be stick figures. <laughs> Anyways, so, it's, it's, it, well, things are starting to go a little bit farther from the main gaming. I had an aspect, and it's starting to turn bit by bit into other types of channels, like a multi-channel, if you say. And so, I'm, I was thinking about creating a gaming channel, vlog channel, and a type of channel for all of the, all of the other types of things I'll be doing. There's no need, honestly. I mean, vlog channel, I understand, because I might be vlogging a lot, and I don't want to bombard you with notifications. Sorry. I don't want to bombard you with notifications. But, I mean, whatever. I'm not going to vlog too much. But, anyways, I have uh, a Discord now. Um, in case you have you don't know so if you guys want to check that out I'd be happy so far I'm the only one in there yay me <laughs> well I also have a DeviantArt and I'm pretty sure a lot of you must have noticed by now I've also linked that on my channel page and I I, I think that's about it I mean I'll, I'll do a lot of drawings so, and recently I've been working a little bit on my DeviantArt. And the reason this video is so late is because I've been having trouble finding an audio recording software that actually works. I've gone through like two different audio software before using this. I'm not going to say the name because I don't want to seem like I'm getting sponsored, which I'm not. So, what I'm basically what basically happened is I was using a editor or a not an editor a recorder online, but every time I would finish telling the story, it would end up crashing on me, and I wouldn't be able to finish my my um I wouldn't be able to finish my story. So well, I would, but I wouldn't be able to tell it to you guys because it wouldn't let me export it. Well, save it. So what I instead decided to do is, well, uh, uh, what do you say? Try another software. So I tried this other one, but um, unless I wanted to buy the the full version, I had to upgrade it, or else I could only get one minute and fifteen days. So, that was useless, because my story is going to be, like, what, more than five minutes long? This rant is almost five minutes long at this point. And then I tried using the pre-built Windows one. That wouldn't open. So now I'm using this one. Hopefully it'll work. So, I think it's time to get into the story. I've ranted for almost five minutes now. Let's get into the story. So, it all started... When I was younger, Minecraft came out, well, not new, but it came to my attention. And I was like, oh, this is cool, I'm going to play it. But I didn't know if I would like it, as it goes with other games. But most games don't give me an opportunity to try it somehow. 
Minecraft, however, did. It had the demo. So, I played the demo, and I was like, okay, this is cool. I want to build a model of my school, because I was still in school back then. And, well, I couldn't do that in an hour. And, so, in... And I didn't want to do it at night, so I would have even less time than just an hour. So, well, not a, like, day night, I'm real life night, but like Minecraft night. Because it was really dark. Also, the one world that it provided didn't really have enough space. So, I decided that I'll play for a little while, see if I like it, and then I might get the real version. I play for a for a while and say, yeah, I like it. Oh, I didn't even see what this story is about. I am stupid. Anyways, so the story is about how I got the name of Dino Pack. I am really, really weird and stupid, aren't I? Anyways, so back to the story. So I decided I liked Minecraft and made bought myself a fully activate, activated uh, a full account that gives you access to the entire game so that's what I did I played the game I tried to build a, my school it didn't really work out but that's not the story here so instead I just played Minecraft like a normal person does and then that's when I discovered the technology of Minecraft servers yeah multiplayer and there was a really popular server. Not Mineplex, but Hypixel. Not sponsored. I don't think they even know I exist. Well, no. Actually, maybe they do. I'm going to continue. So, when I, I was playing, I met some dudes that were like, Oh, hey, you want to become friends and build a house together on Minecraft? So, being the naive person I was back then, I accepted. And that doesn't really change. They didn't really scar me or anything. Huh. Makes you wonder what happened that night. I mean, day, those days. Anyways. So we were building the house, and when it was almost done, one of the, uh, one of the, uh, one of my friends, well, friends, quote unquote friends, placed the sign that said, "Home of six dinos and one Steve," because we were seven. I was the Steve. Why? My name was Teacher Steve, and that was because of my main reason for dying game was because I wanted to build a, a school. Yeah. So, and my skin was the default skin. Yeah. So, I asked them, wait, why does the sign say six dinos and one Steve? Shouldn't it be seven dinos? Then they said, oh, well, your name isn't a dino, really, isn't dino related, so, yeah, you're not a dino, sorry, man. So I was like, all right, well, I'll change my name then. And they said, okay, cool. So I was thinking while we were finishing the build, what should I name myself? What should I name myself? And then that's when it hit me. Dinorama. Yes. Yes, it was Dinorama, not Dino Pack. You'll see why that happened later. So I changed my name. And then they said, Oh, well, we can't change it since you still look like Steve. So I changed my skin. It's actually the original... My skin today is actually a variation of the original one I got on that day. So, mine is original. I guess. So, and the one I'm drawing right now is sort of supposed to be that skin. Yes, I am aware of what I am drawing. I recorded this before the... I recorded this after drawing. Yeah. So, I got to just change my skin. And when I did, they were like, Okay, cool. Home of seven dinos. That's... And then I kind of fell out with them. Not in a fight, but I stopped talking to them. That's not important. 
What is important is how I decided to change my name to DinoPack. And then how I got many usernames under DinoPackYT. I'll explain that. So, I wanted to start this YouTube channel. And back then I was watching a lot of YouTubers that always called their fan base something. Like, I don't know. I don't want to give any examples because these YouTubers are very known. They probably won't see my video, but if I blow up, they might. But that doesn't matter. What does matter is what happened. And do you want to know what happened? Well, I'll tell you what happened. Yes, yes, yes. I don't know why I did that. Why? Anyways, so what I'm going to explain is how I got the name of Dino Pack. So I thought of calling my, my fans the Dinos. Very original, I know. So I was like, yeah. But wait, what do you call a group of dinos again? Oh yeah, a, a pack. A pack of dinos. Huh. That was like... And then, so we're like a pack? Join the pack, but I'm a dinorama. Join the rama? Oh. I want to be saying like, join the pack and become a dino. That's what I want to say. But then I decided it wouldn't make any sense because of my name. So I was like, oh, I really want to say that, though. I know. I'll just change my name to Dino Pack. And that's how I got the name of Dino Pack. But wait, this video isn't done yet. You know what, what's left? How I got the, the idea for many usernames being Dino Pack YT. So... The name Dino Pack, I guess, is fe uh, fairly e recent. Well, recent, popular, popular. Yeah. Well, it's just that a lot of places don't allow. Well, certain characters. I forget hyphen. Hyphen, I believe. Is that the right word? I don't really know English. Eng English symbols sometimes. You know that the. the you know, like, uh, yeah, I think it's called a hyphen. A lot of user names don't allow hyphens, and I think just D I N O P A C K is weird, and D I N O space P A C K is also weird. So, what I decided to do instead was a very original name of D I N O P A C K Y T, because I'm a YouTuber. Yeah, I, I know. I still like the name though, because it looks very neat. And that's when I decided to change my name in Minecraft for the third, third, second, second time. For the second time to Dino Pack. But, well, actually, one of the reasons, the, the Minecraft thing is really the reason why I decided Dino Pack YT. Sorry for Dino Pack YT. Um, so, uh, instead of doing the usual Dino Pack, which is my username, I couldn't do that because the name was already taken. The one without a hyphen, because Minecraft didn't allow hyphens at the time. I don't know if they still... I don't know if they do now, but... When I wanted to change my name, they certainly didn't. So I decided to go with Dino Pack, adding something. I thought of like zero zero one, but I was like, that's weird. How about YT? Because I'm a YouTuber. Well, I didn't have any content at the time. Although I did record some videos. Yeah, don't ask why. I was really weird and stupid. I don't think I still have those files. Do I? I don't know. Maybe I'll check. But all I know is that I... Oh wait, I do have some of them. Well, some of them, actually. 
No, no I don't. I thought I did. But, it, let's stop talking about that. Anyway, so, what I, what I did was really weird. <laughs> I don't know why I changed my name to Dinopack YT instead of using numbers. I just thought it looked weird at the time. So, yeah. That's how I got the name of Dinopack and Dinopack YT. Thanks for watching my videos. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and, and turn on notifications. Because I have a crazy schedule. Yeah, a very crazy schedule. You know that video on my channel that's like, schedule? Yeah, that's, that's, that used to be my schedule because I had school. But now my schedule is whack. So instead of trying to figure out my random schedule and checking each day, wasting your time, just hit that notification bell and it will leave you notified of all my videos. Helps you more than it helps me. A lot of, a lot of people think that whenever YouTubers say that it's because it benefits them, but the bell icon, I mean, it benefits them in views. But then again, if you ring the bell icon, well, if you click or tap the bell icon, then that means you want to see my videos. And instead of, like, helping me, like, by getting likes and comments and, and, and getting popular and money, like the other things might, I, uh, don't really use the bell icon as some sort of financial gain or something. It just really helps you see my videos when they come out. So, yeah, that's my video. Thanks for watching. And when you subscribe, you'll be part of the pack and you become a dino. <laughs> I can't. I can't say that with a straight face. This is Dino Pack signing off. Goodbye.